Hello, and welcome to the AlphaCamp 2019 R1 What's New videos. In this video, we will discuss the brand new redesigned functionality and workflow in our nesting user experience. We have completely redesigned the user experience in our 2019 R1 software to give you truly what we believe to be unparalleled productivity and efficiency. You will be able to do things such as store every single type of preference as well as interact with sheet geometries from a database, from our SQL database, or from a geometry on the screen. Remember that we give you the ability to use rectangular as well as irregular sheet shapes for your automation sessions. We have also added ad additional functionality such as being able to drag and drop your nest lists into the main project, as well as drag and drop any part from the nest list, which is now completely visual into your project. So let's discuss the functionality. You can see now that I'm taking a nest list and I'm dragging and dropping it everywhere, anywhere inside of the AlphaCam screen. Immediately, you will now see that our nest list is significantly more engaging by giving you graphics and information. Now, of course, this is optional. You can have a very reduced sized icon for minimal minimal information you can make that grow and also grow the number of, of parameters that are displayed to you or you can have the biggest possible icons and the maximum amount of information given to the end user now from this point all you have to do is right click and say nest and then select your sheet from the database, which in this case, it could be plywood 19 millimeters. And that's it. Those two steps are the only amount of work we require today from an end user to be able to deploy an AlphaCamp job. Now I'll show you in a second when we're done with the optimization, you still have the complete control that you need to do anything and everything that is required of you in today's competitive world. For example, if you choose to nest, you'll still be able to go ahead and configure individual parts, change, for example, the quantities, the mirror, rotation, etc. You'll be able to select multiple parts and right click and configure them. And then you'll be able to set multiple parameters at the same time such as define as a small part so that we give it treatment for onion skinning, etc. Now, the other major enhancement is that you'll notice that I didn't have to think of any of my nesting parameters. The reason is because these parameters are now stored in a file. All of the parameters that are needed for the nesting session, including best utilization or picked order, pack to, gap at the edge of the sheet, etc. They can be stored and retrieved by the end user with these icons, including our famous nesting extensions and bridge part nesting. So you will be able to have complex combinations of environments and deploy those sessions with absolutely minimal clicks. Finally, another one of the enhancements that we are very pleased to announce and present to you is this. You now have the ability to take any part from the nest list and drag it and drop it onto the sheet. This really makes it productive when you're having to deal with complex environments and or you're just simply trying to make sure that your parts grain match or align themselves to a particular configuration. Having said that too, you'll notice that when I drag and drop a part now, we have added a new feature, a new option called Align to Edges. What does this do for you? Align to Edges allows you to say, for example, take that edge of the toolpath and I need you to match whatever angle that is. 
And so this gives you the ability to very quickly make sure that the parts are perfectly aligned without having to interrogate the part in any way. This covers the features and functionality in our new enhanced nesting in 2019 R1. Hope you can enjoy.